I haven't talked for a while. Um, recently, I went some interviews for a math teacher, math teacher, and most of them tell me that when the class open, they will contact me. And only one set specific date for me to start to teach. And this small uh, is a after school school. <laughs> um, it is operated by a Korean couples and. They just came to Canada for five years, and they are just um, directly to ask me to work there. And even the pay is not high, but this is okay because they look nice. Hell, so <laughs> maybe I can try to learn Korean at the same time. And, uh, because in that school, I may have a lot of chance to meet uh, Korean children. I mean, yeah, Korean children. And some of them just came to Canada and cannot speak English. So maybe it's one step close, closer to Gangdong one. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any ambitions. Only want to be joyful, happy, and get married with Gangdon Wan. <laughs> oh, I guess some people may miss me playing piano. Maybe I'm going to play piano tomorrow morning. Um, ah. Uh, and also next week I have another interview for for a piano consultant. It's excelling piano and demonstrate piano for for the customers. And it's nice. I like to try different pianos. I I want to find out the best sound of them. I especially like grand piano. I like to play grand piano. You almost many feel well. And for my baby grand, actually there's a story of that. And uh, I was I studied in USA in Iowa State University many years ago. And at that time I majored in mathematics. But I um I don't like math actually. But since I already started, so I feel I feel maybe I should get a degree for that. So I forced myself to study math, this subject a lot, and this really made me very unhappy. So at that time, I feel so down. I feel I want to have some expression, and one day what. There's a piano exhibition in a mall, and when I it draw me into that exhibition and play one of Baby Grand Yamaha, and I find I like it, and then I later I decide to buy it. But at that time, I didn't have a lot of saving for for myself, so I used the Emo, I would say that amortizer. I mean, uh, to pay, to buy something with separate payments. And uh, mm, mm. at that time, I use some of my life life budget. And also I went for a part-time job just for having this piano. 
and also I went to major in music. And that's the, another interesting story. Like at that time, I because I was so so depressed at majoring in math or depressed about my life. I have I want to find some way to express myself. So one day I heard WC Duke Arabiscic and I make I want to I want to I feel I want to play this song. But at that time I hadn't played piano for ten years. And I only learned piano for three three years in my childhood. So that song for me at that time it was not easy for me. But anyway, I told my friend I want to find a piano teacher and they introduced me to a teacher from Ukraine. And that teacher is very inspiring. She believed me I can play difficult songs, difficult, difficult music. So she t taught me uh, a music can play by people who have learned piano for 10 years. And she just encouraged me just, if I practice more, I can play low sounds. And she also suggest, suggested me to apply for a music major. And she, so she helped me to learn two pieces of difficult sounds, difficult for me at that time. And I spent that night I'm forcing myself to keep practicing, and yeah, I was, luck I was lucky to finally to to got accepted by uh, the the music major to major in piano. But unfortunately, at that time, I had a great pressure. Um, I also had depression. And I, I had very hard time to make myself concentrated on practicing piano. So I only studied piano for one semester. Well, I only studied music major for one semester. And right now I'm still thinking maybe one day I will go back to major music major. Anyway, come back to my grand piano. I bought this grand piano when I studied in Iowa, USA. And later, I'm, later, after I graduated from Iowa State, I moved everything, including my piano, to a storage in Chicago. And, and then I went to Vancouver to study for my another degree and I found a time to go back to went back to Chicago to bring all of my steps stuff back to Vancouver and I rent a truck to to put all of those things and draw this truck from Chicago and drove north to Canada, to Manitoba, and go, go horizontal, across, and go across, across the Canada to the west, to Vancouver. It took around like three or four days. And at that time, one of my friends came to draw with me. <laughs> Thanks God. Or I, I'm going to, or I was going to draw myself by myself. So this piano, and this because I bought this piano with without my parents, especially my mom's permission. So I 